do the best I can. Here's something I actually was kind of proud of recently. Uh, I recently called a woman an asshole in public. I was very proud of myself for that. You're skeptical, I can tell. Why would I be proud of something like that? I'll tell you why. Because my first impulse was to call her a bitch, and I didn't. That is social progress in action. I was in line at CVS, prestigious American drugstore, and there's like four of us in line. You know when you're in line at the pharmacy, you're not hovering right over the register. You have to, you have to leave a little space for the Holy Spirit. You gotta leave that little, that little six foot drugstore gap, right? And so there's four of us waiting patiently and this lady just strolls up to the counter like none of us are there. In social conditioning, the first thing that popped into my head is I want to be like, you bitch. And then I thought to myself, why bring gender into this? This has nothing to do with her being a woman. This is not a feminine thing that she's doing. This person is clearly an asshole. <laughs> so I hey, you know what? <laughs> Focus. She walked up and I was like, you asshole. <laughs> and the guy in front of me was furious because he thought I was talking to him. Because why wouldn't he, right? He's like, excuse me? Like, no, no, dude, not you, her. He's like, wait a second. You just called that woman an asshole? I said, yes. He said, I didn't think you could do that. <laughs> you can. Why have we decided that the word asshole implies man when that is a gender neutral body area? <laughs> Women have assholes. Trust me, right, buddy? You know, right? Right, buddy? Right, buddy? Come on, up top. Up, no, no. I was joking, I didn't actually think you'd high five me. That's... They do have them though. <laughs>